I grew up with the benefit of three big brothers. Each one of them was a blessing to me in their own unique way. They weren't perfect, but they were to me. I could always count on one of them especially to protect me. He was mean, he was lean, he was a fighting machine. You get the picture. If I encountered a bully on the block, I would just mention his name and the problem was solved. I remember one experience in particular. I was at the local swimming pool and this big tough guy started pushing me around. He didn't like how I reacted, so he made matters worse. He made me kiss his feet. I was humiliated. I ran home crying. And just a few minutes after I arrived home, my brother walked in and asked me what was wrong. I told him what happened, where it happened, and how it happened. Fifteen minutes later, the bully was at my back door. My brother took him by the ear and brought him to my house. I couldn't believe what happened next. The bully got down on his knees and he apologized. That would have never happened without my big brother. But because of my big brother, my enemy was defeated. It reminds me of what God says in Psalm 110 and verse 1. He says, I will make your enemies a footstool at your feet. Do you realize that your enemies are subject to God's sovereignty? When you belong to the family of God, no one can bully you and get away with it. They will be brought down low, low enough for you to rest your feet upon them. So even though at times you might feel small and overpowered, trust in God. He's bigger than the biggest brother, and he can handle any bully, including Satan.